Okay, so maybe you're making $100 a day working your job, but if you wanna be making more than that, then listen up because I've come from the corporate world. I was a corporate slave and I've been able to start my own business and make millions and millions of dollars. And this might sound controversial, but it didn't come from being a bad employee. One thing I hate is hearing all these entrepreneurs who say, I could never work a job. I was never a good employee. I don't understand it because when I was working my job, I was the best employee ever. Those are the biggest reasons for my success as an entrepreneur. I've never been lazy. I've had an insane work ethic instilled in me by my Midwestern parents. I'm gonna go over in this video how to be the best employee ever and create opportunities for yourself that will allow you to achieve anything that you want to achieve. Let's get it. Woo, repping LAFC YouTube, baby. So this is actually a soccer jersey. YouTube sponsors the second LA soccer team. And I'm gonna be going over how to be the best employee ever. Being an employee was actually a great experience for me in terms of molding me to become a business person and a successful affiliate marketer, a successful business owner, all that jazz. And let me explain to you how. Now I learned so much in my time being an employee. That's how I learned online advertising is by doing it for the company I was working for. But it's also how I came to understand business and hiring and managing people and personalities and what successful people look like. If you are a lazy employee, if you go to work and you half-ass it every single day, you're likely gonna be a lazy entrepreneur and you're gonna half-ass it every single day. If you are consistently let go and laid off from jobs, you are likely gonna have the same experience happen to you in business and being an entrepreneur because it's just how you're wired. You gotta change how you approach work first if you want to be a successful entrepreneur. I'm gonna show you my ways how to do that. Now, when you're given a job that pays you money, you're given an opportunity to learn, to grow, and you're given entry into a sacred area of business, a business that is already making money where you can learn everything that you possibly want. You have the biggest advantage if you have a job right now. And let me explain to you how to be successful, move up in your job and all that jazz. I moved up in my job from being paid $1,600 a month to getting paid $6,000 a month within a very short period of time, within about a year. First was visibility. Now visibility, what I mean by that is you should look at the top employees, the owner or the CEO of the company or the C-levels, and you wanna show up every single day before they show up. You should be the first, preferably the first person at work each day. The first in, last out. If you're on the journey to success, this is a mission. You are a soldier and you've got to take your own personal creature comforts out of this journey for success. You have to be a Viking warrior. Accomplish the mission or die trying. First in, last out. Number two is understand every aspect of the business. The business that you're working for, the company that you're working for, think of it like your own, the entire business. You have an ability to talk to employees from other departments in most companies. You have an ability to walk down the hall and ask the IT guy what he does for work, what he needs, what languages he has to learn to program at the company, what his salary is, what he suggests you learn from, what certifications you need. Never eat lunch alone. Take employees out and take them to lunch. Buy them lunch if you need to. Do whatever it takes to learn more about your business that you're working in. If you're working customer service, learn about sales. If you're working sales, learn about marketing and customer service. If you're working marketing, learn about technology, learn about security, learn about fulfillment, learn about warehousing, learn about everything. And you'll start becoming a lot more successful in business. Don't just clock in and clock out. I hate 
lazy employees, and so do businesses. They hate them with a passion. If you are a lazy employee, you're the first on the chopping block, and you have so much negative luck in your road to becoming a successful entrepreneur. It's mind-boggling. The third thing here is network. Always be networking with the most successful or senior people in your particular department. You know, my first job, I started in sales. So I would hang out with the top salesperson, right? It was easy. The company always told who was the top salesperson. There's a big board and his name was at the top. I'd sit with him. I'd take him out to lunch. I'd ask him if he wanted to get drinks for a happy hour. That's who I hung out with because I wanted to know how to be the best. I never did do good in sales. I never was able to make many sales. I guess that just wasn't the path for me. But what I did learn about was marketing. And I got into the marketing department of the company and I would take them out for lunch, go to drinks with them. I'd shadow them. I arrived to work three hours early every single day so that I could spend basically the hours of 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. shadowing the marketing team. And by shadowing the marketing team, Every day for three hours, I was able to get to the point where, you know, I asked him what books to read. I read the books. I asked him what else I needed to know. I did that. I asked him what their problems were. They would tell me their problems was all the work. I do their work for them. And eventually I got into the marketing department and I moved up very fast in the company. I created my own department after six months. And the next thing is learn, learn, learn. If you're going into manufacturing, if you're going into marketing, if you're going into customer service, whatever area of the business you're in, and let me know actually in the comments, I'd love to hear what do you do for a job? You know, are you doing customer service? Are you doing sales? Are you doing marketing? Are you doing whatever it is, manufacturing, warehousing, et cetera? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys do for a job, but learn, learn everything about your position. Even better is learn everything that's in, involved in your manager's position. There's a lot of resources out there and a lot of employees don't read every single book in their field of knowledge. I read every single book that was available on Google advertising. I went through all the free courses. I went through all the videos I could at the time. It was 2010. I went through everything I could possibly go through in terms of Google ads. It was called AdWords at the time and then start moving your way up the chain. Now, the great thing about learning about a position you run in a particular business is that you're learning a skill. You're learning a high income skill, as opposed to what many people do on YouTube and many people in my audience do, which is what I call seeking opportunities, okay? There's a big difference between learning skills and learning opportunities. Behind the scenes, I call a lot of the people in my audience opportunists. The opportunists in my audience are the less successful people always because the opportunists are seeking opportunities as opposed to seeking skills and seeking knowledge and seeking how to be good at marketing or be good at communication or be good at Google ads or be good at persuasion or be good at copywriting or be good at you know, recruiting or be good at, you know, networking, whatever it is, there's different skills, right? Being good at a skill is much better than trying to learn a billion different business models. Ooh, let me learn about dropshipping. Ooh, let me learn about affiliate marketing. Ooh, let me learn about Amazon FBI. Because at that level, you'll always end up with a very thin layer of knowledge. Your knowledge will look like this, as opposed to building on a foundation, your knowledge should look like a T where you have a very deep structure of knowledge in one area, and then you can learn about all the different aspects of running a business because running a business requires a lot of things, right? So learn. And the last part is do, okay? Understanding what you need to accomplish in your role, but understanding what your manager needs to accomplish in their role. Understanding what their manager needs to accomplish understanding what the company, you know, or the CEO or the CTO or the CMO or the CRO is looking to accomplish. Okay. An example might be that your role might just be based off of doing customer service and you have to get su such a 95% satisfaction rating in your company and, you know, do so many calls a week, but your manager, they may have another number they may be looking at both satisfaction and 
you know, how many calls you get done, right? How many customer service complaints you handle. An important number for them might be that they're judged by is retention, employee retention. So you might take it upon yourself to go out of your way to create more of a company culture and help your manager retain employees within the company. So there's not as much churn. You might start learning, you might start reading books, not only about doing customer service and making people very happy having you know interacted with you, but you might start reading books on how to create a good company culture. And you might start doing little things like throwing a birthday party for people at lunch, right? Or putting up a sign. Your manager might say, hey, I love these ideas or I love the stuff you're doing. People are staying at the company much longer. Can I give you money? Can I give you a raise? Can I give you an additional position? Can I put you on this internal board to help our company be more successful? Because you're helping me. You're helping me look good. So I want to help you look better. Always do whatever the people above you want. Understand exactly how the people above you, what numbers they're being judged by. Every position has KPIs, key performance indicators. Understand the KPIs of everybody above you and just make them all look like all stars and do it with a smile even if you hate it because this is not about your personal feelings this is about numbers and this is about money and this is about the money in your bank account you know it may cause you to suffer because you're not making side comments and giving back talk for a few years but you're going to move up in your role so fast if you do all of these things, working a job is very easy. Working a job is very clear of what you need to do and how you succeed. You're given access to people. You're given the ability to talk with other people in the company and know what makes them look good. Help them out. Understand all aspects of the company and just zoom up in life. You know, being a great employee gave me the ability to get into a specific marketing event that was where I met my first mentor that led me to affiliate marketing, told me to do affiliate marketing. Being good in my company has led to lifelong relationships with people in my industry. Being a good employee led me to the first people that I was able to hire when I started my business. I started an ad agency and uh, you know I hired some people from my former job or people I'd met. Being a good employee led me to learn so many skills that I would have never learned. Helped me learn a bit about management, helped me learn about advertising, helped me learn about data feed syndication. You know, I would have never known about data feed syndication if I had not explored that as an additional revenue and upsell opportunity for the company I was working for. Nobody ever asked me to learn about e-commerce data feed syndication, but I knew that we had a few customers that asked about it and said, we will pay the company more money if you can figure this out for us. So I said, they'll pay us an additional five to $10,000 a month. I said, if I can help the company make $10,000 more a month, I'm going to figure this out. All information that you ever want to do anything in life, it's all on the internet. You can learn it. It just takes time. And last but not least, I'd say being a really good employee led me to learn about so many different businesses because when I was working at the ad agency I was working at, the ad agency I worked at was called National Positions, by the way. Every single client that assigned to me to do their ads, I would really investigate their numbers, their business. I had a curiosity that went far above and beyond, I'd say, anybody else who worked at the company at the time. And... I really got to understand different businesses from CNC machines to yoga mats to zero access turn lawnmowers to generators to bulk USB device sales to personal injury lawyers. You know, I got to learn about so many different businesses in such a short amount of time because I actually was interested in each client and not just from a point of view of, what do I need to do to keep my job? But from a point of view of how do I make the client the most money? How do I make the company I was working for the most money? And it just led to so much knowledge about business that I was really able to understand where the opportunity areas were for me at that time. What businesses were easy to start? What businesses were easy to get traction? And I eventually got into affiliate marketing and was able to just zoom forward because that curiosity, that work ethic, 
and that addiction to being the best I could possibly be in any given situation followed through when I became an entrepreneur. So I hope you commit right now. If you've been lazy, if you've tried to do the minimum possible effort in your job, if you've tried to let things slide, if you've showed up late to work, if you've left early, if you watch the clock thinking about when you'll get your next break, if you take additional breaks just because you're tired of working, if you eat lunch alone, if you don't go to happy hour and network with the top brass in your company and you want success, those don't make sense. So start thinking about the attitude you take to work each day. And I would encourage you that if you really want to make a change, if you really want to become a successful entrepreneur, commit right now to being the best possible employee you can ever hope to be. Thanks for watching. If this video strikes home, leave it a like. Make sure you subscribe for more videos. I go over marketing and success and mindset and all sorts of stuff like that. And leave a comment. Let me know what you'd like to hear me talk about next. Let me know if a part of this video has been particularly helpful. Thanks, bye.